So, what are you thinking? Are you considering using an Indian motorcycle? The world of custom motorcycles is truly fascinating. The show American Chopper played a huge role in making this world popular. It aired from 2003 to 2010 and introduced many people to the art of motorcycle building. The interactions between the cast members, like Mikey, Paul Sr., and Paul Jr., kept viewers engaged and entertained. When American Chopper first hit the screens, few could have predicted its success. Before the show, custom motorcycle building was not well known. But it changed everything. The show demonstrated that building motorcycles is not just about putting parts together. It's about imagination, engineering, and artistic expression. The impact of American Chopper was significant. It inspired a new generation of builders and motorcycle enthusiasts. The intricate designs and innovative techniques showcased on the show drew many people into the world of custom choppers. Motorcycle events and conventions saw a rise in attendance thanks to the show's influence. Beyond just motorcycles, the show resonated with audiences because of its family dynamics. It explored the challenges and dreams of a family business. The struggles between tradition and innovation added emotional depth to the narrative. This blend of family drama and motorcycle building captured the public's imagination. The Tuttle family became synonymous with American craftsmanship. The show didn't just focus on the bikes, it also highlighted the intense relationships within the family. The ups and downs of their interactions were often more compelling than the motorcycles themselves. This raw emotion set American Chopper apart from other reality shows. American Chopper was a trailblazer in reality TV. It aired on the Discovery Channel for seven years, giving viewers an inside look at Orange County Choppers. In the early seasons, Paul Sr. took a hands-on approach, mediating conflicts and allowing situations to unfold naturally. After the show ended, many fans wondered what happened to the cast. Let's catch up with them, starting with Paul Tuttle Sr., the director and owner of Orange County Choppers. After the show, he worked hard to keep the spirit of the show alive. He assembled a new team of motorcycle enthusiasts to help him. In 2018, there was a revival of American Chopper. New episodes were created, but this reboot faced legal complications. Paul Sr. found himself in the middle of legal disputes that began in 2017. By the end of 2020, he announced that Orange County Choppers would be relocating to Florida. Paul Sr. wanted to explore new avenues in the motorcycle business. He also aimed to launch a new reality TV series titled Orange County Choppers, made in America. Unfortunately, his plans faced financial challenges. He struggled to secure the necessary funding for the new show. Eventually, Paul managed to secure an investment from Thomas Darber. However, things took an unexpected turn. Instead of using the funds for the show, Paul redirected the money towards personal interests like fishing trips. This led to delays in production and frustration for Darber. In April 2017, Darber took legal action against Paul Sr. The case revolved around allegations of fraud related to how Paul handled the invested funds. Tensions escalated further when Paul sought to change the ownership terms of their agreement. Ultimately, the legal dispute concluded with Darber winning the case, and the new show never progressed beyond the planning phase. To ease his financial burden, Paul Sr. decided to sell his luxury property in New York. Initially listed for $2.9 million, the property was eventually reduced to $1.6 million by 2019. These days, Paul Sr. is collaborating with Keith Overton, a tourism entrepreneur and motorcycle enthusiast. Together, they aim to reinvigorate and expand the Orange County Choppers brand. Now, let's talk about Paul Tuttle Jr. His journey as a metal craftsman began at the young age of 12. He earned a 20% stake in his father's company, which they founded together in 1999. However, this didn't save him from being ousted by his father. After leaving Orange County Iron Works, he established his own shop in New York, directly competing with his father's business. With time, Paul Jr.'s ambitions grew. He wanted to express his artistic abilities without family ties. This newfound freedom allowed him to expand his designs into clothing and personal branding. He even worked with Blizzard Entertainment, showcasing his thriving career. Paul Jr. has shown his ability to lead a team and is dedicated to his craft. His estimated net worth stands at around $2 million, surpassing that of his father. While Paul Sr. faced financial struggles, Paul Jr. enjoyed career growth. He even provided enthusiasts with a chance to revisit the iconic motorcycles showcased on the show. Now, let's discuss Mikey Tuttle. While the other family members found success, Mikey faced challenges.
he played a significant role in maintaining peace within the family. Initially, he performed entry-level tasks at Orange County Choppers. His warm personality made him a fan favorite, often serving as a peacemaker. In 2012, Mikey decided to step away from the show to seek personal peace and mend his relationship with his father. He explored his artistic side by opening an art gallery, but this venture closed in 2014. In 2016, he launched a web series called Wandering, aimed at shedding light on homelessness in New York City. Unfortunately, this led to legal troubles for Mikey. In 2019, a lawsuit was filed against him, accusing his company of using another artist's work without permission. The court ruled in favor of the artist, awarding damages totaling over $200,000. Mikey also battled alcohol addiction, which strained his relationship with his father. However, he took steps to address his addiction and eventually reconciled with his family. He re-entered the business world as the assistant general manager of Orange County Choppers. Later, he ventured into the culinary sphere by founding a company dedicated to pasta sauces. Now, let's talk about Vincent DiMartino. Vinny's journey with Orange County Choppers began through a high school connection with Paul Jr. He joined the team in 2002 but left in 2007 to pursue personal growth. After leaving, he established Five Force Customs, but this venture faced challenges due to the 2008 financial crisis. To ensure a stable income, Vinny diversified his services by adding routine car maintenance. 